This is a martial arts studio? Yep. It's kind of clean. That's why my dad likes it. Clean. He's a minimalist. It's part of the way. The way? How long has he been teaching the way? A week. A week. Don't worry, he's a pro. Hey, Dad. Hello, son. Who's this? This is my friend, Jake. He's having trouble at school with bullies. And he was wondering if you could teach him some moves. I see. How big are these bullies? Not very big. They never are. Jake, violence is never the answer. Two boys give you trouble, and you give them trouble. But that's what they want. The more you fight back, the stronger they'll become. So why not put an end to it in the middle? Take that whistle, and if those boys give you trouble, blow for help. So my carpet. I got this carpet from the carpet maker. It's what keeps me rooted to my culture. And now you've ruined it. So you're Persian? It's made in China. Why can't you just enjoy my art? Why do you have to intrude? You were just laying down the funky beat, man. You were you were slaying. It is a gift that I have. 
but it is also a curse. Where's my ball? Where did the ball go? The ball. Where's the ball? The ball. The ball. Where's the ball? My ball, my ball. Dear Mrs. Brown, 
We regret to inform you it has come to our attention that your previous sexual companion, Mr. George Pitts, has passed away due to the AIDS virus. AIDS? The fuck is AIDS? Whoa, look at that ass. Excuse me? Oh, come on, you know you like it. Charming. Oh, uh, don't leave. Listen, Rico, I'd love to stay and chat, but I have clients who will be upset if I don't co-cut their hair. Oh, come on, you can't project Marco sensation. Whoa. What? You're... I'm blind? I guess you wouldn't have noticed that because you were too busy staring at my ass instead of my eyes. So what is it? Now that I'm blind, you don't want to talk to me anymore? Oh no, it's just... It's just that it's weird. <laughs> you guys are all the same. No, I just didn't expect you to be blind. You're a hairdresser. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll let you take me out, but you have to let me cut your hair. Of course, yeah. Let's go. Um, what is this? It's a thing to keep the hair off you. Actually, it's a map of Ontario. Oh, um, okay, then use this. Okay. So I'll pick you up at 8 tomorrow, right? Yeah, that'll be fine. See you tomorrow. stupid factory. You don't have a choice, Keith. You can't tell me what to do. Yes, I can. And plus, you owe me. I don't owe you anything. I owe you nothing. Dad, I was born to play hockey. I live and breathe hockey. When I'm out there and my adrenaline's pumping, 
I almost forget what you did. I gave you everything you ever wanted, and this is how you repay me? Throwing your life away like this? Disappointing me? I'm not throwing my life away. Yes, you are. Hockey's a waste of time. Hey, hey, your mom sucks donkey balls. Hey, hey, you. You're a big fat. <laughs> the bomb book, bomb book, bomb book lot. You know, most dads would be proud of their son being good at sports, but I guess you're not most dads, are you? You do as I say, and that's the end of it. I mean, you can't always spend your life like this being irresponsible, doing whatever you please. What are you talking about, Dad? You think I don't know? You think I don't know about the drinking? The drugs, the things that goes on when you think I'm not looking. I don't do that stuff anymore. Don't lie to me, Keith. Everybody your age wants to experiment, wants to have fun. Oh, you think you're invincible, like nothing will happen to you. <laughs> no one can hurt you. <laughs> you think you get away with everything because you're just a kid. No one can hurt me? Like you've never hurt me, Dad? Oh. How would you feel if I took away your car and all those wonderful, expensive clothes? I can live without all that shit. Right, right. You remember Peter? Yeah. You remember what you did to him? His father's brother manages your team. I mean, I'm sure I can put in a good word. And I mean, Peter may, may not be able to face his father in the face and tell him what happened. What do you think will happen if he hears it from me? I've worked really hard for this. Hockey is the only thing that's mine, that I've earned on my own. Matter of fact, I don't want any part of your business. You say it's a good opportunity, a great opportunity even. But, like, you offer shit wages and you treat migrant workers horribly. You have nowhere else to turn to? <laughs> that's called providing opportunities, so. And as far as shit wages, we've been hiring union workers since a decade. Get your facts straight. You're always taking advantage of me. By the way, you got a board of directors meeting at 10 o'clock Monday. Make me proud, son. Hey, uh, old Gil here. I'm a fisherman looking to go to the Derby later on today. I just got to bury my grandfather. Very he's, nice. He's, uh, yeah, well, he just passed away and uh, I just got his urn with me. We're uh, gonna, we're heading over to uh, the old fishing spot. So, two can die in eight nights. Thanks.
So I got my hair done. How do you like it? It's nice. She curled it too. I didn't think she would, but she pulled out the curling iron and there it is, curly. Yeah. Are, are you ready for the test? What test? The biology test that's in about an hour. No. I'm ready to talk about my hair then. Why don't you study? Mm. Right. Steph! Is it time for the test now? Is it my hair? Do you see it? She caught my bags too short. Do you see that? What? I'm you're, never going back. Your face. What did you do? That was immature. We'll find out. Oh, what happened here? Please do something. And it's your fault. So, just go. Seriously? Okay, come on. Thank you. But it's not my hair though. Just just the face. Serious? The hair is fine. Uh, I found a website here. Uh, Dr. Bert Jacobs, a microbiologist from Stanford University who studies viruses that can cause mutations. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in his earlier studies he discovered a hair product that causes skin mutations. Hair product? Since the 1800s, certain witches and cult groups have used the cursed virus to find the chosen one. Oh, wait a sec. What? Don't, don't you have a, uh, a birthmark on your right shoulder? Yeah, so? I've had that for like ever. The chosen one who has a cross permanently etched on their right shoulder. Okay, so what are we going to do about this shit on my face? Well, it says here, to get rid of this infection, one must pray to their god. <sighs> so am I cute again? I forgot to mention, it takes three to five business days to clear up. Are you kidding me? So nothing. Alright, well, you better write the test. Yep. I'm not going to the mall like this tomorrow, that's actually ridiculous. I never going back to that mall. What exactly happened last night? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What happened? There's a murder. There's a murder. What happened? I don't know. You must have saw something. You were the only one there. It was Bella. Bella? Who the fuck is Bella? I see her every day. It was just, it was so, so... You know Bella? Yes. How do you know her? She's always there. She's always there. What were you doing at 6 p.m. last night? My, my clubs. Clubs? What were you dancing? I, I, was, I was polishing my, my clubs. At 6 p.m. outside? Yes. 
Yes. 6 p.m. last night, yeah. outside. Yeah. You were polishing your golf clubs. Yes. And you saw this murder. Yeah. And you were the only one there. Did you see the suspect? No. No, I'm gonna bring in my friend, see if he can help you remember. This is Detective Armstrong, and help us draw a picture. Okay. So what did Bella look like? She... She was just so beautiful. She was, she was tall. She had these big, beautiful blue eyes. Her hair was so long and silky and brown. She was so beautiful. But the blood, it was just, it was just everywhere. I just, I just didn't know what to do. Her skin was, was golden. The blood was just everywhere. I don't, I don't know. What she look like physically? She was pretty tall. I don't, I don't know. She was, she was tall. Her, she, her face. It was just, it, it was so perfect. It was so defined. She was tall. I don't know how big, but she was just so perfect. Got it. Is this Bella? Yes! She was so beautiful. Bella! Well, hello class. My name is Miss Wright. You can feel free to point to me an address and do not feel shy. Okay, so today's class, we are in ESL 101 66. So um, let's start by asking your names. Simple, like yours, for example. My name is Ichtart Vralskin. Okay. Uh, yours? Uh, how about Hope yours? Singh? Sorry? Hope Singh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yours. <laughs> okay, sure. Well, I will try my hardest to, uh, you know, remember that. Okay, so let's start with the alphabet. Can anyone tell me what the letter A stands for? You, for example? Sorry, I... Uh, uh, apple? Yeah, good, good. It does, it's a fruit. Mm. And how about what the letter B stands for? Oh. <laughs> B is for bomb, no? 
Oh, well, I was thinking something more like the word bat, but B does stand for bomb, uh, too. Excuse me, miss. What is the name of that tall building you have? The one with the point on it? Th that's the scene tower. And what is the name of the dome building next to it? Oh, well, that would be called the Sky Dome. And, well, the Sky Dome's not that nice. What is the security like in this building? <laughs> Are there many people there? Um, no. Okay, so if you'll just excuse me, I'm gonna be right back. I just have to make a phone call, and I'll see you in a bit. What? It keeps my hat in place. Apple. This is Matt Church reporting live from the Sky Dome, where authorities have recently apprehended a terrorist suspect who was plotting to destroy the Toronto landmark. John takes a moment and daydreams about the most beautiful, extraordinary cross guard he crosses every Tuesday afternoon. Time to get out of bed, John.
my life, I used to have it all. Love, admiration, women, and respect. My career was on high. The number one top jazz pianist was what they branded me. I was living and loving life the way any celebrity would. There's nothing I couldn't get. If I wanted it, I got it. But everything changed when I met the love of my life. The waiter broke my heart. I heard rumors she was cheating with some dude I haven't met. That's when I snapped. I can't remember more than that. Bitch. Whatever I did must remain buried in secret. No one is to know or to ever find out. Do you think I could uh, buy a pregnancy test off of you? Uh, yeah, here, the last one. Thank you so much. No worries. You don't have any weed by any chance, do you? The fuck you think I am? Get the fuck out of here. Of course, follow me. Thank you, Father, for seeing me in this quiet, secluded place for my confession. It's not a problem, my sister. Oh, stepsister, please. All right, my stepsister, how long has it been since your last confession? Well, Father, I'm not one to sin often, so it has been quite some time. Well, I'm here to listen, and God is here to listen. What are your sins, my child? Well, Father, see, I was walking the other day, minding my own business, really, and I tripped over this gentleman's foot, fell right on top of him. He yelped out in a high-pitched cry of <coughs> satisfaction. I, I don't understand. Well, sir, when I was taught, young, when I was younger, that 
When one female falls on top of a gentleman, you may be pregnant. Ah, the euphemisms. I've heard them all before. I fell on him, he fell on me, we were skinny dipping in the pool. Do you realize what you've done? Yes, Father. You've sinned against this church. Yes, Father. Against this religion. And against God. Yes, Father. God. God. Yes, Father. God. 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 Oh, wait. It's negative. Look, it's negative. It's negative. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks anyways. Go in peace. <laughs> Yes, sir. No, no, I got it. It is terribly unfortunate, isn't it? I'll get started right away. Justin Joyette. Born July 17th, 1985. Justin would live less than 23 years before suffering a head wound that doctors would diagnose as a terminal loss of brain activity. Fortunately, doctors have been known to make mistakes in the past, and after a few short months, Justin had made a full recovery. However, Mr. Joyette's luck had not taken the last of his turns. Less than one year after his miraculous recovery, Justin would be caught in front of the getaway car of wanted hitman Klaus, your eyes. Justin would later be honored for his heroic efforts in stopping the getaway vehicle. The media was still raving on about this local hero when Justin, just days later, would have a stroke. Oh, shit! Shit! Oh, God. Shit. Shit. Alright, what was I? Just days later, Justin would have a stroke of good. Luck. When he became the youngest man to win in excess of $20 million through the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Joyad became a valued financial contributor of many charities and never allowed the money to get to his head. He still took public transit, enjoyed long walks in the crisp winter air, and even made his own lunch every day. Justin died on January 17th, 2009. Official cause of death, chewing gum related fatality. A memorial for Mr. Joyette will be held this coming Sunday at 657 Avalon Boulevard. All parties interested in the distribution of the will should attend.
When the meteor hit, those lucky enough to seek refuge were saved, hidden far beneath the earth, living what little life they could. The great force of this natural event threw all of the great discoveries and innovations of mankind into orbit around the planet, wiping the slate clean. Years passed and mankind pushed on, seeking the falling objects of the past like a hunger. Those who sought these relics were known as junk merchants. Some seemed to fight for what was lost, but most fought for only power. I was born into a world where my existence forced arguments and violence. Sign trophies need to be studied. We need to use these items to learn from the past. The past doesn't matter. All that matters is what we have now. Someday some beauty will emerge from the chaos and return to this world. If we as people can learn to live together, to not cover these machines in the past, maybe, just maybe, one day we can rebuild this world, get toward a better track than the past once was. from us here at the shopping channel so this isn't something like our snake chain is something that we'll always have in stock uh, this isn't something that we always will have right. um, in right. our 10 karat gold showcase Thank you. 
I'm Al. I'm one of the most talented people I know. One of the most talented people you know. I'll make it big one day. Back in I should have made it already. I taught Jimi Hendrix the guitar. And Jimmy Page. And Jimi Hendrix. I shot both Biggie and Tupac. With my wicked riffs. I'm pretty much amazing. Oh, and I'm good looking too. Women, they just melt. Is this Al? Yes, this is Rockstar Al. Open for Zeppelin, 78. Can you come to an audition? It's for Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven? Nobody plays Zeppelin songs better than they do. Shit! So you can come. I've got a musical boner like 34 feet wide right now, yeah. It's held at the... Pornhead. Yeah, I know where that is. You're gonna bring your A game? You're gonna rock their shit? Mm-hmm. You better not fuck up like you did in 74 when you opened up for Fallon Fridays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll see you later. Hell yeah. Oh shit, dude! Can I borrow your car, man? Yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks, sure. sir. Could I have some Tylenol? Yeah, Tylenol's out oh. there. Thank you. This is gonna be so awesome. Oh, this is my big break. I'm gonna be so famous, and Miley Cyrus is gonna wanna fuck me, and then Lindsay Lohan's gonna get all jealous, and then she's gonna fuck me. I'm gonna kill this audition. I'll be so good in this cover band that Led Zeppelin's gonna get back together just to have me in it. Because I'm too fucking awesome. God damn it! Fuck! Cuts on a cracker! Fuck! Fucking shit! Fuck is so shit! Hey, pussy hole! Who the bomb will clap thing out the road? What? Motherfucker, I taught Bob Marley how to play the guitar. I taught him. So, just leave me alone because I'm having a really bad fucking day. Okay? Bomb clap, pussy hole! Huh? Bertie Crease! Mm -hmm. Oh, the damn thing! Fucking shit! Rockstar Alex can't catch a prick! Hi, I'm here for the audition. What's your name? Al. Al what? The rock star. There's no Al rock star on my list. But I'm on a list. You're not They're on my fucking me. list. I'm on a list. You're not on my list. I like your sweater. I'm on a list. <sighs> hey, hey, man. Do you know? Do you know where my car is? Uh, yo, we'll talk about that later, man. Listen. Those Tylenol pills you gave me aren't working, man. In the Tylenol bottle? Mm-hmm. Where else, man? Oh, man. That's a that's ecstasy, you idiot. Ecstasy? <sighs> All right. Now, that was my agent on the phone, and he's really, really upset. I don't give a fuck. I'm on the list. Just because you have a guitar, you think you can get in here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm really good. I'll show you, and you have to let me in. I'm going to show you right now. Oh man, you have any favorites? Oh. 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 In here somewhere. Let him in. This is even worse than Phallic Friday.
Are you tired of back problems? Feeling cold? Or even just taking a trip? If only there was another way. Whoa! Did you see that? They were cold, they were tripping over their shovels. That's no way to shovel snow. Now I know what you're thinking. Andrew, there's gotta be a better way. Well, there is. That's why I invented the Insta Shovel. The Insta Shovel. The Insta Shovel. The Insta Shovel includes many innovations, some of which include the latest in hand warming technology. That's right, the latest in hand warming technology. Now that's gotta be really heavy, right? No, because we have a new technology. The integrated flux capacitor makes it as light as a feather. And it plugs conveniently into our little easy battery pack. Come on out here, Heather. Let's see the battery pack. Come on. Look at that. It's very simple. All I gotta do is plug it in. There we go. Wait a few seconds. Toasty warm and no back problems for me. Okay, cut. Oh. Hello, friend. Have you heard the good word? There's a better way! Alright folks, stick it from the top! Whoa! Did you see that? <laughs> Seems the wind blew the door closed. God works in mysterious ways. Bloody hell, why do you keep interrupting our commercial? You keep knocking on the door. And why aren't you wearing any bloody sneakers? God doesn't wear any shoes. Why should we? Hold on a second, mate. With new power sonic heat sensing technology, this really is a nice shovel. I think I'm going to give it to my Aunt Barbara. Excuse me, mate. May I boil that? Sure. Thank you, Lord, for letting me feel pain. Hey guys, Crazy Andrew here with you again. I managed to escape the mental institute, and you know what that means? We have another great Insta product. This time we give you the Insta Boost. The Insta Boost. The Insta Boost. The Insta Boost. Hello, my friend. Have you heard the good word? Bloody hell, these damn Jehovah's Witnesses are like ninjas, I swear. The Insta Boots are available for three easy payments of $3.95 and one difficult payment of $14.95. Um, can I help you? I'm Sandy. Uh, you're a man. At least you didn't notice I was late. And by the way, I'm all man. Uh... So are you ready to party? Come on in. Alright, well, make yourself at home, I guess. So, uh, what happened to your arm? Occupational hazard. Tennis elbow. The tennis. Well, are you ready to party? Um, come on, yeah. you know you want to. I will. Come on. I will. Yeah, you know you want to. Come on.
shit! Dirt even for me. Somehow. Uh, 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 stuff it in there. You okay there, honey? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry about it, Sandy. It's just like a day at the beach. Honey, you're coming back to. Oh, son of a bitch! I ain't dealing with this again. Sandy ain't going back to jail. Sandy got to deal with this himself. Such a shame, too. Well, sorry, Sam. <laughs>